Okay, so let's continue with our uh, problem for today. So where we last left off is we know that we have a VY. Okay, we have a VY over here. And we realize that uh, we are going to apply. We're going to apply. A thin wall. Analysis. In your term test, I will tell you to. OK, if this question does come out or similar question does come, I'll tell you to apply thin wall analysis. So when you apply thin wall analysis, we realize that this is going to be Q, right? Not too Q. Uh, when it's box beam, uh, sorry, thin wall, and we realize that this is a white flange. And then it's just going to be Q, not too Q. Okay. So we, we realize that what we are calculating down here, okay? So you have to be careful down here, okay? So for element A, okay, for element A, we know that this flat plane, okay? So 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 uh, if we draw a transformation, as you can see, this is x, y, right? So the shear stress that we're going to find at element A. The intersect the plane is intersecting the z axis, right? What what do I mean by that? Okay, so if 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 you were to look on on this surface that I'm 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 shading now in 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 black, right? You can see that, right? And this is our z axis. The plane that I'm shading in black will intersect the what z axis? Yes or no? Right, so the intersecting plane is Z at element A. All right, we are looking at element A now. Wait, I need to come down. When when I'm excited, I go very fast. I need to come down. Okay, or not, you guys won't get it. Okay, so if you look at the shear flow direction, what direction is in? X. Yes or no? Okay, X. Okay. And this is for point A, right? And then we 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 put in the formula that is going to be still v y over i x x. Uh, sorry, i x x, right? U x divided by t. And we realize that the shear flow, flow direction is going towards the right. Okay. So I want you to uh, copy this first. And then we're going to reflect on something. Okay. So what we see over here, the shear flow or the shear stress is going towards the right. If we look at our previous analysis, this one, right? Our shear flow or our shear stress is also Xz, yes or no? Or Zx, yes? Same, right? Let, let, let me zoom out, okay? My memory is bad, okay? So I'm going to highlight. So this is, this is for our shear force in X, okay, is going to generate a shear in ZX, okay, and is going towards the west, towards the left. This is on element A, yeah, it's the same thing, it's still on element A, okay. Then, because of VY, now we are dealing with VY, yes or no? So, the same thing on element A, right? Now the shear flow is going towards the west, towards the right. Direction is important because later on in the direction, we have to determine the shear stress acting on the what? Element. So pay attention on the direction of the shear stress and the direction of the shear stress 
is the same as the shear flow. Are we clear? Okay. Thank God we learned shear flow already or not. Wow, this is really hard to teach. Okay. So for element A, and then for element B, the shear, right, in the, the, the plane, the, the intersecting planes on the Z axis, now the shear flow is in the Y direction. Okay, at point B. So this is equal to Vy over I uh, xx ux multiplied by divided by P and the direction is going this way. Okay. Now if we were to go back and look at the at, at what Vx does. Go on. Okay. So on on, our, on 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 due to our v x okay so I'm going to shade in blue so this is our v x analysis okay the shear flow uh, the shear stress is equal to zero but due to v y is not equal to what zero okay a lot of time normal stresses eighty five percent of the time we always get it right. Sharing stress, sixty percent of the time we always get it wrong. I got it wrong so many times when I was younger. Okay. Okay. So for at this view, let's see anything else that we need to analyze. Uh, we have we have, have have we done the worst? Go on. I think we did. So let, let, let me see, we have, let, let, let me take stock, okay? So we have our moment in X, we have our VY. Moment in X was a difficult one, but you guys understand it. We have our VY, okay, this is good. Then we have our moment in Y, yep. And then we have our VX, yep. And then we have our Stress, normal stress in the z direction. I think we are good to go. Okay. So next we are going to apply all our formulas that we, we have learned. Okay, all our formulas that we learned. But before we do that, we have to know the, the geometry of our structure. Okay, we have to do all. So you all have any question online? No question. Anyone face to face have question? No? Okay. So next, we start putting in our geometry information. So I'm going to copy this. Okay, as I said, you guys have all this on Avenue. Okay, we have this. And then I'm going to put our okay. So we're going to assemble everything. Now we need to extract the information. So this is the beam that we are using. Okay, so what, what, what do we have? So our D is uh, 205. Okay. Well, could, 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 could you all remember, I asked you guys to memorize what is a flange and what is a web for this reason, okay? So you, you know exactly where it goes. And then BF is 166. And then TF, TF uh, is 7.24. And then we have our PW, the web, no, 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 the web thickness is 
I'm getting old. Of TW, the TF is 11.8. Okay. And then we will write down our IXX is equal to 40.8. Times 10 to the power minus 6 meter to the power 4. And our IYY is equal to 9.03 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter 4. So the first thing I like to do, so we, all this information are from the table, it's really straightforward to get. I will again. Yes. It says 10 to the 6 on the chart. So is it 10 to the 6 or 10 to the negative 6 for the moments? Uh, okay, student asked is 10 to the 6. Is it millimeters? So in meters, it's 10 to the power of minus 6. Oh, okay. sorry. I didn't see you brought it to meters. My bad. I'm now wondering why, when you ask questions, the general public cannot hear. If I setting. Headset and uh, who asked the question, please? I asked the question. Okay, Jason, everyone can hear you now. I do apologize. I don't want to, you guys to think I'm crazy talking to myself, okay? Right. Okay. So now we have all this. Okay, I'm going to take this uh, image again. So we are going to look at let's let's do element by element. Okay, let's focus on element A. Okay, let's focus on element A. So on element A, we want to find stress Z in the Z direction of element A, right? And then we know that this is due to axial loading. Okay. Now I put plus. Okay, I don't know. Okay, let's let's not put any side. Okay. Then we have to consider our moment in the x direction. Okay. Then we have to consider our moment in the y direction. So we are aware that Pz will induce a compression, so it's minus. Okay. So now we just need to go back and look for our information. Okay. So we are going to find out a uh, moment about x. Okay. So we refer back to moment about x. Okay. So moment about x over here, right? We have a magnitude of 22.75 times 10 to the power 3. And it's going to be what? Tensile. Okay, so 22.75. So we know that this is plus. We know that 22.75 times 10 to the power 3. Okay. And then we look at MY. Okay, so you look at moment in the y direction so my where is our my okay for my right we have 9600 right and element a we are we know that it's going to generate a what a compression okay right so aren't we glad we have done the analysis already so we've done a compression now we also know that this is what minus and the value is equal to 9600 9600 See, that's it. We've done the most difficult part already. Now it's just plus or minus. Plug in a formula, Bob's your uncle. Yes or no? It's easy now, right? Normal stress is always easy. Searing stress, then we get a bit of headache. Not really. Okay? So we know that uh, Pz is equal to minus 100 times 10 to power 3. Divide by A, your cross-sectional area, 
is equal. So the cross sectional is 5320 times 10 to the power minus 6. This is from the table. This is from this value over here. 5320 times 10 to the power minus 6 plus by 22.75 times. Uh, let me let me uh, get some space. Okay. Times 10 to the power of 3. Ixx is equal to 40.8 times 10 to the power of minus 6. Now, a lot of times students get y and x wrong. Okay. So what is the y value? Okay. So the y value, right? So this this vertical is the y direction, right? The y value is uh the entire depth. So point.